Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and today we are going to talk about the Heavy Club Swing Clean. The Swing Clean is an evolution of the Dead Clean. When we are learning heavy clubs, we focus on the things that clubs do that other things don't do. Barbells don't do, med balls don't do, dumbbells don't do. You can do a swing clean with a lot of things, but they are best done with kettlebells and heavy clubs. We always learn the dead clean first because we have to pick the club up in order to get it into position. So let's learn this two ways. We'll learn it from the dead clean and then we'll learn it from a swing start. Step up to your club, club between your feet, feet point straight ahead, thumbs point towards the sky, stack your hands on top of each other, dead clean the weight up. Order, position. Elbow on body, 90 degrees with the arm. Too high, too low, just right. Top hand is the one we care about. Bottom hand supports. From here, push the weight back, two elbows straight into the swing clean. Push back, swing, and catch. Push back, swing, and catch. The cues are the same as the cues that we use for inside circle, outside circle, and shield cast. Push, swing, pull, catch, push, tip, swing, pull, catch. Straight legs on the catch, squeeze the glutes, rib cage down. Push, swing, pull, catch, push, swing, pull, catch, push, swing, pull, and catch. The important point to note is that you always catch in order position with the elbow on the body and the bottom hand elbow is locked out at the bottom. Push, swing, pull, catch. Two elbows lock out at the bottom. Stand all the way up at the top. Set it down. Straight arms directly between the insteps of the feet. Second version, start with the club between your feet. Step back 12 to 18 inches. The same distance you would have as stepping back from a kettlebell. Thumbs point towards the sky. Thumbs stack on top of each other. Reach down. Tip the club towards you. Wrap your thumbs all the way around. Push back, swing, catch. Elbow ends on hip. Push back, swing, catch. The cues are always the same. Push, swing, pull, catch. Push, tip, swing, pull, catch. Push, swing, pull, catch. Push, swing, pull, catch. Push, swing, pull, and catch. Push back, drift it out in front, set it back down at the exact same spot that you picked it up from. The swing clean is an essential human movement. You practice cleans with barbells, with dumbbells, with kettlebells, with med balls, with slam balls, with almost everything that you can think of. Clean is just defined as a movement of getting something from the ground up to shoulder height or shoulder stability. In heavy clubs, instead of rack position with bar or with kettlebell or with dumbbell, it's order position because we are controlling that lever. This seems like it's an easy exercise because the weight is light for the hips. This is why heavy clubs can't replace all other pieces of equipment. You should still do your deadlifts and you should still do your heavy kettlebell swings. So this is really a lineup of the hip movement with the arm and the elbow to learn to decelerate weight so you can learn to accelerate weight. With this exercise, you're training the opposite of a lot of things that you wanna do. If you wanna punch harder, an easy way to learn to do that is to learn to decelerate weight because you're doing the exact opposite muscle chain. The heavier the club, the more you have to learn to decelerate, the better something like your punching power could be. This is one little piece which can add into your throwing patterns later on. We start with two hands because the goal is to go up in weight Going higher in weight forces us to have better structure, breathing, and movement. Eventually, we will move to single hand. Eventually, it will change to other directions. Eventually, we will take below the waist and add it to above the waist. This is a basic piece you need to know to keep adding an infinite amount of complexity to club swinging for the rest of your life.